Hi, my name is Matt Hill and today's date is May 18th, 2023. And today we will be filming a video for SciTech Process Solutions. Since we keep our customers privacy, I will give you a location of the work and a PO number. They are located in the US and the PO number is 217-3919. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this SRD started and then we'll go into repairs and refurbishment process. Right, we have a dry cassette with dry substrates in there. I'm gonna slide that back in, hit the start button. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna do a circle real quick. I just wanna make sure everything's looking like it should. Perfect, perfect. No leaks. All right. And today we're going to be reviewing a repair on a 270F SRD with a 101 controller. And so this SRD came in needing a motor replacement. Um, on its way on to, into our shop, um, it went through delivery and it got a little banged up in the delivery. Uh, so when it arrives, it had a be bent base plate, a bent face plate. So both this base plate was bent this faceplate was bent. It had a broken fil uh, filter in the back, broken window, and it also had a bent bowl. Um, so after it arrived and we evaluated the system, we went ahead and did all of the repairs needed. Um, also replaced that motor like it was sent in to do. I'm just gonna double check the back real quick. Looking good. And after all the repairs, we are looking good. And right now we are running the SRD through a typical spin wrench dryer process. First, it started with the rinse process where it rinses all of the unwanted particles off of the substrate, removing any of those unwanted particles, followed by a purge cycle, which uh, uh, eliminates all of the excess DI water throughout the system. After that, it goes into the dry one, which you see Right now, where it goes into a higher RPM spin, where it will allow the larger particles to spin off or fly off of the substrate. After that, it will go into a dry two cycle where it will be a lower RPM, and then the heating elements will kick in and allow that substrate to dry evenly. Looks like we're still in dry one. We can see the RPM dropping as it goes into dry two. Particles are getting less and less on the window. That's exactly how we want it. Perfect. A lot of our SRDs, that, or a lot of the SRDs that are sent in, especially when they send in a head, is for a full refurbishment. When, a, when an SRD is sent in for a refurbishment here, it goes through, the, every SRD goes through the same extensive refurbishment process. First, we break the whole SRD down to the component level. Then we inspect each component for function and then we chemically clean and electro polish all metal parts. After all components are verified for function, then we will move into dry one, or the dry testing. In qui dry quality control testing, the SRD is put together without facilities being installed. Once it passes dry quality control, it will move into wet quality control, where then we will take the SRD that has been assembled, apply the facilities to it, and then run it to make sure that it is fully functional, functional and ready to go for a plug and play installation into your fab. Once it passes both dry and wet quality control, it comes into the final installation process, which you see here. Once it's in this process, we will run it 50 different recipes and multiple times just to ensure that it is ready for that plug and play installation into your fab. All right, looks like we have about almost a little under two minutes left on the dry two. You can see that we have barely any particles, water particles on the window anymore, which is exactly what we wanna see. We'll double check the back. Looking good. All right, and that motor was replaced. That's looking good as well. And then you can see that this head was just sent in as the SRD head. A lot of times clients will send in their whole double stack, 
with poly. This one, the poly is still being uh, cleaned and, and redone. And then we have this one over here. Well, this one is basically ready to go. It's a 480 on the tabletop poly that has been redone as well. All right, we are down to the final minute. Everything is running perfectly fine. Heating element looks good. All right. All right, almost down to the last 30 seconds. And then besides the SRDs, we also uh, supply parts and services for the HCC box washer, the 4000, 8000, 8010, 8020, 8030. We also uh, supply parts and services for mask cleaners such as the KNS and the Ultra T. Uh, photo resist pumps such as the IDI, Cybor, and the Millipore. Both uh, the pumps themselves and pump repairs. And then barrel ashers and etchers and microscopes. If you have any questions about any of the uh, services or the equipment that we offer, you can visit us at SciTechProcess.com or give us a call at 916-797-9000. All right, looks like we are just finishing up on that last dry cycle. All right, warm to the touch. I can feel the N2 pressure. Dry substrates, dry cassette, looking good. All right, so we have run a successful process and this tool is ready to ship to our customer. This will conclude our video source inspection for today. Thank you for taking the time to view it. And then again, if you have any more questions, feel free to visit us at SciTechProcess.com or give us that call at 916-797-9000. Thank you and have a wonderful day.